Hey everybody, Phil Crute here from Comedy Cigars and Music, and today the cigar for review is the Southern Draw Jacob Slatter. So off the foot and wrapper, I'm getting a boatload of chocolate, a little bit of barnyard, and some fruitiness. Okay, so right off the bat, getting some chocolate, earth, a little bit of fruitiness right at the beginning of the pull. That finish, a lot of chili pepper spice on the finish and a little bit of chocolate back there. Chili pepper spice is all over the tongue, right at the back of the throat. On the retro hill, I got some earth, <clears throat> a little bit of chocolate. The smoke output on this is awesome. This is a very good start. I've had this cigar uh, once before. Uh, actually, I had it last summer. I was very impressed with it then. I just got one cigar last summer just to try it. Really liked it. Ended up ordering another one. Well, oh, there's a lot of chocolate on that finish too now. Um, ended up ordering another one. So this is my second go at the uh, Southern Draw Jacobs Ladder. So very good start. All right. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so into the first third a little bit. I'm getting some nice chocolate, some earth, some black pepper spice, a little bit of fruitiness every now and then as far as the flavors go. On the retro hail, earth, that black pepper spice is banging through that retro hail. Really strong presence of the black pepper spice. In the finish, chili pepper spice is still there. It's backed off just a hint, but it is still there all over the tongue, the back of the throat, really good. Getting just a little bit of chocolate and fruitiness on the finish there a little bit about <laughs> so a little bit about the cigar this thing has an extremely gorgeous wrapper the wrapper is a deep dark brown oily this is a very nice looking cigar to start off with the smoke output off this thing is unbelievable I've got a little wind um, blowing here but the smoke output is really great um, a nice creamy smoke when you draw it in, this is just a really solid cigar. I have had some other cigars by Southern Draw, uh, Rosa Sharon. The thing I remember most about the Rosa Sharon is every single draw, cotton candy. Cotton candy and leather. Um, I know there were other flavors in there, but right off the top of my head, that's what I remember from uh, Rosa Sharon. Okay, we're rounding off the first third here. Still getting some nice chocolate, earth, that black pepper spice. I'm telling you, just how that falls in that mix of flavors is really good. I like black pepper spice on some of my food, but I wouldn't say that I'm just like this huge black pepper spice fan. Um, but man, where that falls in with those flavors is just really good. It's just perfect. I mean, and you can really taste that black pepper spice. It's very distinguishable, really good. On the finish, I'm getting some leather, some dark chocolate. That chili pepper spice has really, really backed off. I can feel just a very, very slight hint of it on the um, top of my mouth towards the back. On the retro hail, every so often I'm getting a little bit of fruitiness, but the main thing in the retro hail is earth, and then it's followed right by that black pepper spice, and then just leaving a little chocolate the rest of the way through. This is a very good cigar. Um, this is exactly what I remember from this summer. And it's just, it's one of those cigars that's just enjoyable to smoke. The smoke output is really good. Like I said, with the wind, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but the smoke output is really good. Feels really nice and heavy, thick and creamy. Um, when you're taking the draw in, <clears throat> a really good cigar. Also, just two minor burn touch-ups in the first third. I appreciate you guys coming on these little trips with me. And I will catch you guys up here in a little bit. So, while I'm smoking this cigar, just a little bit of trivial information for you guys. Some of the music, if anybody's interested, some people are interested in the music that are in videos, some people aren't interested, but the intro music that I have on most of these videos and the outro music is actually from bands that I've played in the past. No, I'm not trying to sell any of my music. I'm just giving this for information. So the um, intro song, that little two-hit thing, is from a song called Molecule for my band Between the Rooms. And sometimes the outro music is also from my band Between the Rooms. It's kind of that more rocking um, outro music, and that is a song called Blue Gold. I actually did um, 
drum covers, well, I guess not covers, I was part of writing those songs, but I did uh, drumming videos for both of those songs. Those are a lot of fun to play. Kind of the more poppy outro music that I put on these sometimes is from my other band called Limited State, and that song is called Enough of Heaven. But you can find that on SoundCloud if you're interested in listening to the song. Just thought I'd let you guys know that for those that are curious about the music used in videos. And I'm going to get back to this excellent cigar. Okay, finishing up the second third here. Still getting some nice cocoa. I would say it's like a cocoa slash dark chocolate. Nice little combination there of those. Getting some earth. That black pepper spice is still kind of sprinkling in every now and then. And when it does, it's just... How it accents the rest of the flavors is just really good. Um, here towards the end of the second third, I've gotten some blast of, if you guys have ever had that blackjack gum, I just remembered it as soon as I um, took a draw or a couple draws, I just got this memory of that blackjack gum my mom used to get us uh, when we were kids. Really good, even getting some clove uh, spice in there. Retro hail, getting some nice dark chocolate. On the finish, a little bit of earth and leather that dark chocolate, that chili pepper spice is way, way down, but you can just catch a hint of it. And that's still right at the back on the top of the mouth, still there. This cigar is performing very well. Um, I have had one burn touch up here in the second third. The strength is picking up a little bit. I can feel that nicotine a little bit here. Just a little warning there. If you have not had this cigar before, careful. I'm gonna keep smoking this down and I will catch you guys up here in a little bit. All right, finishing up the final third here. Flavors have really died down. Still getting just subtle notes of chocolate, some fruitiness, a little bit of oakiness in there, some earth, chili pepper spice. On the retro hail, getting some chocolate and earth. On the finish, lots of leather. Lots of leather on the finish. A little bit of chili pepper spice, just like in the second third. It's very subtle, just in the back of the throat there on top of the mouth. Also getting just a little bit of dark chocolate on the finish. Smoke time for this cigar is going to come out to about two hours and ten minutes. The smoke output has been excellent throughout the whole cigar. I am developing a little crack here in the final third, but not a big deal. Almost finished up. Guys, as always, thanks for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will get to them as they come along. If you enjoyed this review or have enjoyed other videos I've done, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, guys, be cool to each other, and I will see you soon.